hello guys. I feel like I haven't vlogged in such a long time. And that's because I haven't. But today's Wednesday and I have got a university exam. Kind of excited, kind of... I'm actually very much stressed out about it. Because of COVID, it's not going to be an exam style. Instead, they've changed it so it's an essay and they've given us eight questions which they released this morning at 9am and we've had to pick one and we've got about six days to do it. It doesn't sound too bad because six days is a long time, but... It's 2,000 words and I know that the last assignment we had for the same module, it took us just over a month to get there to 2,000 words in the last assignment. So I've always performed very badly in exams and all my like teachers have noticed it. So I'm really happy that they've changed it and now our alternative exam is an essay. I don't have a lot to do today apart from start my exam. I've already picked a question, they gave us eight to choose from, I've picked the question I want to answer and I've already done a plan for it. So I really just need to sit and write and get resources so that I can reference. But I am very much stressed over it. But I'm just glad it's come at the end of Ramadan. Let's think about the stuff that's happened since I haven't actually been filming. Um, well, we had the elections in the UK and I did vote. It's the second time I've voted, so it's very, very exciting. I've applied for my student loan for third year because Student Finance England were harassing me and sending me many, many text messages telling me that I should start applying. So I've done that so I can check that off my list. I learned to make mousse and I'm actually kind of good at it. I've only made it twice. I don't know, I just seem to be getting this. I learned to make mousse and it was really nice. I made it with dark chocolate, milk, uh, not milk chocolate, white chocolate, and yeah. So that's what I've been up to, voting, making mousse, panicking over this exam that I've got, and um, recording podcasts. If you don't know that I do podcasts, then now you know, and you should definitely go and check them out. The link is in the description below, so you should go and listen to some of the podcasts. Um, I've been doing TikTok videos, and honestly, I've just been taking it easy during Ramadan because I have had a lot of deadlines and stuff. That's basically a little life update. I haven't really been doing much otherwise um, because uni isn't open, so I haven't been going in. Anyway, um, I am going to be making myself a coffee, except I'm not going to be making it. It's not a coffee that I use, it's not the black coffee that I usually drink. My sister got me this, so I'm going to be drinking this. I don't go to Starbucks a lot, and when I do go to Starbucks, I don't usually order anything. But when I do go to Starbucks, I get a coffee-based caramel frappuccino. At first, I didn't like it, but it's actually not that bad. And honestly, the caramel that they drizzle on the top is just so nice that I could literally ask for a cup of caramel on itself. So my sister got me this. I tried it a couple of weeks ago because I always see my sister and my brother drinking it, but I never knew. I was like, mm, no, it's probably not all that. But my sister got me one and I tried it for the first time a couple of weeks ago and it was really, really nice. So she got me another one. So I'm gonna just pour this into this and just tell people that I made it even though I'm like home alone. <sighs> that was nice, okay, let's go. Okay, so one thing I've been doing a lot is watching Netflix, so Yesterday, I what have I been watching? I've been watching Get Even because my sister says it was really good. So I watched Get Even. I watched it. I binged the entire thing in about two days. And last night, I started watching Good Girls. And honestly, I'm not disappointed. I'm very iffy about watching and starting new series because if they're not good, then it's just a waste of time. But I haven't been disappointed by Get Even and I haven't been disappointed by Good Girls. I've also been watching a lot of Disney Plus and on Disney Plus I've been watching a lot of Austin and Ali actually. Um, because I don't know, I just feel like Disney, Disney is very nostalgic and when you have anxiety or when you're feeling very stressed out or you can't sleep, watching things that don't relate to real life is always 
a good way to de-stress especially watching cartoons and it doesn't matter how old you are watching cartoons will always relax you so if you're ever feeling stressed or anxious or very panicky put a cartoon on and you will calm down hopefully because it works for me so it might work for someone else out there i'm also going to sit on the floor because i feel like it's a lot more comfortable and i can work a lot easier when i'm just sitting on the floor got everything around me i have my whiteboard here i use a whiteboard to plan out my work so I'm gonna have that on the floor next to me and I'm just gonna work. I've also turned off my phone because my phone is my biggest distraction. I'll do anything to not do my work. Even though I love doing assignments and I love doing essays and I know it sounds weird to some of you, but I love doing it. But my phone is my biggest enemy when it comes to that and I've never done this method before, but I've turned my phone off and I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna try my best not to go on it because I need to get this exam done and I don't wanna leave it till last minute because I don't need that kind of extra stress in my life. I'm trying this new thing where I make my life easier for myself because I have a tendency not to and I'll leave things to the last minute and then I'll panic and then I'll ask myself like, oh, you could have done it there and then when you had it, you had so much time to do it, but you left it till last minute. And then I promised myself that I'm never gonna leave anything till last minute again. And then I do, and then I'm just in that cycle. So I'm trying to break that cycle. Thank you, DPD fan so much for that. Am I only going to be writing my exam this entire video? No, I'm not because that's not interesting for you and it's not interesting for me. I'm going to be making a dessert later on, so I'm probably going to vlog me doing that. Okay, so it's a couple of days now and by a couple, I mean it's now Monday. I managed to hand in my exam last night, so second year is finally complete and right now I'm literally going to do some cooking. So I thought you know, my other cooking video did kind of well, so i just do another one. My mum sent me the recipe to a strawberry banana bread, which I've got here on my phone, so that's what I'm going to be following. I've got the bananas, I've got all the ingredients, I've got the strawberries. Hopefully this is less chaotic than the Valentine's cake that I made for myself because that was just a disaster. So I'm going to tie my hair up and wash my hands and then we'll get started. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. I also hope that this camera stays focused because I know that in some of my other videos it just wasn't focusing, it was focusing on everything behind me. So I, like now, I think it's focusing on everything. self-raising flour, margarine, mashed banana, any sugar. What's this? Ah! Okay, never mind. Oh my god, okay. Whoops. Oh god. Okay, hold on. Oh my god. Do I even remember where I got this from? No, I do not. So I usually don't measure out ingredients when I'm cooking. I'm not using scales. So something just fell in the cupboard and that sounds like a problem for future me. Anyway, so you're gonna watch me cook now. I think I'm gonna start off by measuring everything out. So I got some more bowls. This will be the main bowl. Um, and these will be the ones that I use to measure. This camera isn't straight. I do love to cook and I know I always complain when I'm doing it, but I promise you I do like to cook. Okay, well I'm 76 grams. I don't think that's a major thing. Wait, how much? 40. Okay, that's 30 grams. I think I'm kind of good at this. 40 grams of mashed banana. Let's just put a full banana in and see how much that is. That is way too much. Okay, that is um, a lot. Still too much. 
No, it's 62 grams right now. Let's just... Okay, that's 50 grams. 40 grams is hardly anything. Okay, but... Okay, now it's 34 grams. Okay, now that's... What do I do with all of this banana? You're probably saying eat it, but... Bananas give me stomach aches because I think I'm allergic to them so I don't eat them anymore. I probably should have mentioned that before making strawberry and banana bread, but um, I am going to put this in a bowl and someone else can eat it later. I honestly, I don't know how much, I don't know how much this recipe serves, so it may be that I have to use more banana and strawberries and stuff. Nice. I don't know if I have to sift the flour. Because do you remember last time my sister was like, you only sift the flour if they say sift the flour. You only sift the flour if it says sift the flour. If it doesn't say sift the flour, you don't need to sift the flour. Well, it, it doesn't say sift the flour. So I, I don't know. Okay, so let's just, uh, let's just, egg whites. Okay, because of the mousse, because I've been making mousse quite a lot, I've kind of gotten a little bit good at, separating the egg whites but i did buy a egg white separator i'm not going to use it though because i want to show you guys my really cool skills i feel like this is going to mess up so much but um it's only because you're watching me and that's why i get nervous you can't see what i'm doing but there's the yolk Oh no 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 oh no 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 I just see it's all your fault because you guys were watching me. Just forget that you ever saw me do that, okay? I think I've got a shell in it too. I'm gonna wash the strawberries because we only need a few, but it doesn't specify the amount, so I'm just gonna put in a couple here or there, so Okay, so it says mash the banana with a fork, then add everything into any size bowl except for the strawberries. I'm going to put everything into here then, but I'll brush the bananas first. This looks like it's a serving for one. It serves two people. Okay, so I'm going to have to up all the ingredients. Okay. again I mean I did say that this isn't enough for I'm gonna make enough for four forget it for the whole line I'm only making a little bit because um, it's the first time I'm making it, so I don't want to make a lot and it doesn't turn out nice because then that's just a waste of all the ingredients. So I'd rather make enough for four people and then we can all share it and... Go to zero! So things aren't really working out the way I expected it to work out. The scale is now not resetting to zero. Battery? What? So why is there a battery flash? Don't tell me that I have to change my okay, battery. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, no, I can just until I get to this. Okay. Oh no, perfect. 40 grams. Oh no, 75 grams. Okay, 74 grams, whatever. I just need to quickly do the butter. Margarine! So much is going wrong. grams gotta do this is very stressful and I have to put in another egg white okay, that's just pretty you know, I wasn't going to but
there's a lot that's been going wrong but I'm gonna be positive okay so the strawberries okay I'm just gonna quickly wipe everything up because what I usually do is when I bake anything I clean as I'm going so I don't have anything to do when I'm finished Mash the banana with a fork. Because I feel like the fork is just going to take too long. I'll use this. This is what it looks like. Yum. So delicious. Okay. And add this in, I guess. I'm 20. I'm going to be 21 this year. And I should, might, I like, I might as well. What's the word? Um, ah. I might as well learn to cook, to bake if I don't want to learn to cook. Well, I do kind of want to learn to cook, I'm just too lazy to, you know? So I had to change the camera because my other camera the battery ran out and the card got full so I had to change everything so I apologise to any changing in the position or the lighting or anything really. So while the camera was off I put all the ingredients into a bowl except for the strawberries because that's what it said so I'm just sitting here cutting the strawberries. I really love rain and I like rainy weather but I only like the rain when I'm staying inside. I don't like going out in the rain. I've never liked getting my hair wet. Uh, I don't know if this camera's focused, so I apologise if it isn't, but um, I hate getting my hair wet, and I've always been like that, even when I was really, really young. But I absolutely love the rain. I, you know what the rain's good for? It's good cleaning weather. I love to clean when it's raining. I don't know why. There's just something about it. I just love it. Also, I apologise if you can hear the TV in the background. Uh, Granddad's not wearing his hearing aids, so you guys get to watch TV with us. I'm very fascinated by clouds, like every cloud has a name. Um, for example, rain clouds are called nimbus, and then you've got combination clouds which create thunder and lightning, like cumulonimbus clouds, because thunder and lightning happen when the clouds rub against each other. I mean, makes sense because friction. This is what the mix looks like. It's obviously I've not mixed it properly, so it's not mixed to the best that it could be mixed. So I'm just gonna mix it for a little bit more, and then I'm gonna start to add the. Um, I'm gonna start to add the strawberries in. Now the recipe says that I can either put it in the microwave or I can put it in the oven. I'm obviously I'm just here. I'm just making the thing, the dough. The foundation, I don't really know what to call it, but I'm only, I'm just making this for now. I'm going to cover it up with cling film. And then when my family all come back from school and work, then I'm going to put it in the oven or put it in the microwave, whatever they want. The recipe does say that it's best to eat straight after you've warmed it up uh, because it's a warm dessert. So that's what we'll do. Hopefully I remember to vlog. But if I don't, then I'll put like, I'll tell you guys anyway how it was. These are the strawberries. Wow. They look so good on camera, actually. Um, I do hope that the strawberries are sweet, though. I'm gonna be really upset if they're not sweet. I don't mind sour fruits, to be honest. Um, I don't mind them at all. Sorry, my sister's had exams um, because she's doing her GCSEs, so she's just letting us know how it's getting on. I hope that this doesn't hurt my stomach because I did mention earlier that bananas give me a stomachache and for that reason I think I am allergic to bananas. Uh, so what better than to make a banana dessert, you know? This might be a little bit too much strawberry. But can you ever have too much strawberry in anything? I mean, it is strawberry and banana, so you'd expect there to be, because the, the 
the dough, it's the bread, it's a, I don't even know what this is, but there's more banana in it because I added over the amount that they wanted me to put in for banana. So instead of 40 grams of banana, I had to put 80 in. As you would have seen, I had to add extra because the serving was only for two. But now I'm thinking that I added like, literally I added more than 40 uh, because it was just going to be a waste if I didn't put that little bit of banana in. And I can't, I can't eat it because I'm allergic. I can't lie, this does look good, but it's, it doesn't work out, I can't lie. I'm going to show you guys the mix right now. And then I'm probably going to turn off the camera until I next cook it. So, this is what it looks like. Mmm. Very nice. <laughs> you know the thing is right about my YouTube is that a lot of a lot of my family I don't think know that I do YouTube, right? So like some of my closest cousins know, some of my aunties know. But that's about it. No one else really knows that I do this. Obviously my parents and my brother and sister know. Um, but other than that, no one actually knows that I do YouTube. So I put everything in the fridge, I've cleaned everything up and I guess we're gonna wait now for about two to three hours when everyone gets home and then I'll put it in the oven. Hopefully I remember to vlog because otherwise I'm gonna be really annoyed with myself. Uh, the next clip is literally gonna be me showing you the dessert, hopefully if I don't forget. Um, otherwise I'm just gonna say from now it probably turned out good because I've got faith in myself. I guess we'll find out when the time comes. So I'll see you guys in a couple of seconds. Okay, so. There it is. I am excited because it smells great and it looks good. So I'm going to take it out and we can have a look at it together. This looks incredible. Oh. Look at that. You can see the strawberries, there's bits of banana. I can't wait to try this. It's also still, it's raining again, so I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but this looks so good. Inshallah, it tastes just as nice. I'm gonna try it in a few minutes because it's really hot because I've only just taken it out of the oven as you would have seen. So as soon as I try it, as soon as I cut it, taste it, whatever, serve it, I will show you everything and I'll tell you guys how it tastes. And God, I'm, I'm very excited to try this because it just, everything about it smells good, looks good. So I just hope it tastes as good as it smells and looks. So we're gonna find out in a few minutes. <sighs> I hope this was worth it. This is what it looks like. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. I gave some to my family and my family said that it was really light and it's a great recipe. I'm definitely gonna make it again. So this baking video was a success. So I'm really happy about it. I think next time if I make it, I might use blueberries or something different instead of strawberries because I know not everyone in my family is keen on strawberries. But that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, actually you don't have to, I don't really care. Today was a lot of fun and hopefully I can now stay on my YouTube schedule because I've got no uni now and any assignments so it should be easier for me to film and upload so I really hope that I can keep on top of that. I hope you guys have an incredible morning, night, evening, afternoon or day wherever you are in the world and I hope you guys will join me in my next video. Bye guys!